Gordon. Yeah, thank you, council members, for staying and listening to us and hearing our uh, community needs and desires. And I'm actually not going to speak long, and instead I'm going to sound off the number of people who have died in traffic since 2015 by using this bell from a, a ghost bike uh, that was given to Seattle Neighborhood Greenways. And if you'll just join me in reflection, that'll be the remainder of my time. So I'm Kathy Tuttle, I'm the director of Seattle Neighborhood Greenways, and I'm tired, I'm getting, I bet you're kind of tired of this meeting now too, and, but I'm tired of leading, producing uh, memorial walks around Seattle, um, because, well, with everyone, I've met amazing people, but they're the families of amazing people who have died on our streets. This year we're asking for $3 million for Vision Zero spot improvements and uh, roadway corridor safety improvements to be added to the budget. Uh, yesterday I worked on the 17th memorial uh, for 24 people who have been seriously injured, uh, six of whom died in Northeast Seattle in just between 2015 and 2016. Uh, three of those people who died were fathers of young children who died while they were biking in Northeast Seattle. Uh, last week I was uh, privileged to meet Marilyn Black, who's the wife of Max Richards, who died walking his dog uh, across the street in Bellevue and Belmont. Um, he sounded like a lovely man. Uh, a poet, uh, a literary professor in Auckland. He was just visiting Seattle for two years while his wife finished a graduate degree. I've met simply amazing people uh, from all over the world. Many immigrant families have lost family members uh, as they, they've, they've walked and biked and driven in Seattle streets. Uh, we know the solutions for these streets. We. We have the staff that can do them. We have very competent SDOT staff. We just need the money to be allocated to these Vision Zero spot improvements and corridor safety. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, 